Hello. Hello. This is my one cheese nacho here. Uh, I will be showing you today how to make a redstone uh, diamond trap. It doesn't require, it's fully automatic. Doesn't require any hard work, I guess you can say, for those lazy people out there. Basically, you don't have to do anything, which I found very useful. Very, very useful. Um, it works a lot better with sand, I do have to say. So, uh, you can use any type of block. Gold, iron, it does not matter. Alright, we will be starting today by... Um, actually, we need a bucket of lava. So, I will get rid of that because that does not spawn naturally. You can also drown them, but that's boring. Who wants to see someone drowned? Well, actually, we can't have that high. But we can have it. There. In a regular world, this will work a lot better because it won't, like, be as misfunctional as this one will be. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what I'm saying right now. I'm like, so tired. So tired. Alright, what you want to start out to do, I actually will get rid of uh, iron, because iron doesn't matter in our world. We'll start out by making, I would say... Actually, we'll fill in that lava last, I guess. Oh, yes. I did not really look up how to do this. If there's a video with the same exact way to make it, well, that's great. We both thought of the same thing, but I did not copy this from anyone. So, yeah, a haters gonna hate. I I don't really care. I thought of this. It was my idea. If you happen to have the same video, well, that's great. I didn't steal this. Just wanted to get that out there. In case anyone wants to come at me. Because I don't really like people trying to steal other people's stuff. I ran into that a little while ago. Yeah, it was quite annoying. Can you use a sticky piston with sand? I believe you can. Okay. Let's do this. So your friend will see this certain block and be envious of you want it for themselves. Well, you are going to say, no, it is my block, therefore you cannot have it. So y imagine this being set in a desert. Uh, so, uh... I mean, you could try to build it in a forest. I wouldn't. I mean, you completely can, but that's not my really opinion of best interest. Okay. So now that we have a simple lava trap down, we're going to punch this slime in. Oh, he died. But they fell, at least. Oh, crap, he died too. Okay, back onto the trap. You can have two blocks. It does not... Ri actually, no, y you should only have one. We will form this with a diamond block, because that seems more realistic to use. Now, you're going to want to put the redstone torch on the back of the block, so that when they break it, it will break the torch, 
Therefore, uh, I, I, you'll understand as we go along. We'll get must, much, m must, what? It will get much more simpler. Because as you can see, that did not work. Or it did, it just pushed, pushed the sand off. Oh, ah, there we go. Okay. So try not to do this with the sand on the bottom. Because that doesn't work that well. I'll, alrighty, alrighty. Say that too much, but I'll say it again. Okay. What do you want to do? When the pistons pop out, uh, you would like to cover them in sand. I'll be going through a tutorial, like a full-out tutorial. Now I believe that was a creeper. I don't know where though. Nope. Doesn't really. Ah, uh, something stepped on my landmine. <laughs> the pop trap landmine. Takes you a while to get away from. If you're curious, you'll probably get stuck in it. Okay. That was not a good... Oh, I, he didn't fall. Uh, that, that's odd. Well, we're going to work with this. Like, if your pal or buddy is kind of tr easily trickable... You can trick them with this. It works on a lot of things. Because it is so easy to trick someone, it will work on a lot of things. Like your greedy friends. Like, you, you can just hide that behind a hill. But now you see, when you go for your, the diamond, it will break and you will fall through drop it down into the lava. This is because there's a torch back there and it is keeping these pistons together. So yeah. I am going to go through a checklist now. So I will be back when I get all the supplies. And dirt is not included because that's such easy to get. So be right back. Okay I am back and I have the materials. What you're going to need is around, I would say, well, if you're in a desert, well, I'm not going to specify, uh, specify, specify, yes, specify on how much sand and dirt you need, because they're easy to get materials that you can just cover yourself. You will need one redstone torch. If you would like a double trap, you should have two of these. It's optional. I recommend the one, because then if they only break one of the blocks they may happen to get away with it you will need six sticky pistons you'll also need at least six dirt uh, grass or dirt uh, it doesn't matter or six sand and every time that the trap goes off you'll need to reload it which will cry another redstone torch and six more sand you also need six redstone repeaters to connect and one block of diamond, gold, iron, whatever block you think that someone would probably like go to mine or steal from you. So yes. Now, you also need one, no, 20 redstone and a couple of uh, buckets, but I can't spe specify how much you need of those either. Because that is not up to me. Okay, I recommend making it like this. Alrighty, what you would like to do, make a... Hmm, well, a hole like this. One, two, three, four. A four by three hole to start out with just so you get the basic now if you have this what you like to do ex expand it one block 
making it a seven by three. Or I I don't know how much that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six by three. Sorry. Then place the sticky pistons on the outer layer of the hole. It should look like this. Next, you should most likely break a block behind every sticky piston and stick a redstone repeater. Remember, you, you can't be facing, well, you have to be facing the same direction as the piston standing over it, so you would walk the way it's pushing. If you do not do this step, it will not work. And probably they will get away with the diamonds. Actually, no, there will just be a giant lava pit in the ground. So, that's not really a good thing, I wouldn't say. Alright. Now, you would like to stick a grass block on the sticky piston slot. And it's optional, you can cover up the pistons, but just to show you a better view, I'm going to keep it open. So it should look like this so far. A little two hole, two by three hole. So, don't get that confused. Now, where the redstone repeaters, I yes, that's what they're called, you would like to place one redstone behind each one. That is, after you make a little indent with the hole. should look like this now depends on which way you want it to go doesn't really matter you can have it either way but just for example I'm going to do it this way I recommend breaking a hole there and doing that next you would like to set up the trap make a one block high little pedestal do either one of these blocks, any ore that you think is most valuable, either block. I always place it on the left. Little pet peeve of mine. Okay, we have this complete. Now, what would you like to do? What you would like to do? No, what you have to do, place the redstone torch that you have on the outside of the block. I will just get rid of these so you don't get confused. Now, what should you you should have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. I should have about twelve redstone left or something around there. You would like to make a little gash right there. So you can have the redstone climb up and go to the target. Or, just to make it more simple, you can make it underground so it's not as noticeable. And you can just have it coming up right there. Although, I would recommend probably doing it underground for, for your first couple of times. Because you don't want it showing. And that's a big key to this process. Now, you should be all out of redstone. And just have a lava buckets. Well, right now I'm going to cut the power right there. So you can also, well, it's mandatory. You must place the lava right below. Well, you don't have to. You can place it like a far drop. Or you can just kill them by falling. But that gives them time to maneuver and probably make a little indent in the wall if they're quick and smart. Now I'm going to respawn the redstone torch. And I'm going to cover that up and voila it is successfully completed now it should look like this if you have it all set up correctly you would like to place the sand on top of the where the grass pistons are it honestly does not matter if you have it high or low actually that is a bit low so, this will kind of work out. You cover that up. Oops, wasn't, wasn't supposed to do that. It 
just for tutorial reasons, um, it y should usually uh, be a bit lower, and most likely, yes, or it doesn't really matter, as long as you get the basic idea of them. Okay, so we have it looking like this. A slight modification. If you were following the tutorial, you don't need to do this. You just need to follow along, and you'll get you'll get the idea. You'll understand eventually, or you should. If not, then then you you'll realize. We'll leave it like this. Pretend that this is the ground layer. You can cover this ha up however you want. I, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to make a quick little wall like that. Of course, I did that again. I'm not supposed to do that. And we have this right here. So if you follow it along, you should be out of materials. And you should have something look like this. Usually, it shouldn't be like this. It should be a block higher. Every like the pistons. That may confuse you. I'm sorry if it does. And it should look like this. Although you should probably replace the surrounding areas with sand. And if you break the block, you will fall down to the lava. Yeah, I fell out of the world because I made it like that. So. You have the redstone trap completed, and the tutorial is completed, and I don't know if this was the right one. Uh, I think it is. Yes, it is. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Mom and Cheese Nacho, and this was the redstone trap tutorial. Thank you for watching.